question comes from Denny Poland, a shareholder from Pittsburgh. Uh, when describing the principal agent problem, Mr. Munger said that capitalism often works best when the people managing the property also own the property. In recent years, agents of pension funds and asset management firms who do not have significant personal ownership stakes in Berkshire have forwarded proposals that were not in the economic interest of shareholders. What can be done to limit the negative influence of these agents in the decades after you're no longer able to cast significant votes against them? Well, that's, that's a very perceptive question, and, and it's been answered in a temporary manner, but, but, but who knows what the, how the situation will develop in the future. All I know is that you have a wonderful hand at Berkshire Hathaway, but you have to, you have to be able to think your way. I mean, obviously, you have to think your way through political realities, or you have to think your way for what will cause... You, you, you want, a, you want to be on... You, you, you want to be regarded as an asset to the country, because uh, you'll find more solutions if you are uh, an asset you owe to the country anyway, but, but beyond that, you'll, you'll find more solutions than if if you're regarded as evil or, or, or something, and worse yet, if you deserve it. So it, it, it's, it's, it's something that's constantly in our mind, uh, and it needs to be in the mind of the directors. And they need to think for themselves on this rather than bow to conventional wisdom, uh, which, uh, you know, in, in a sense, you don't want to become a cynic about life, but almost everybody that approaches you, if you have tons of resources, has is, is got some interest in figuring out how to use your resources to their advantage. And, and that's true whether they're in politics or whether they're in investment banking or whether they're selling you, uh, uh, well, whatever it may be that they're selling. I, I don't want to do any injury to anybody, but, but uh, you know, life insurance agents see the advantage of buying life insurance, and, and investment managers get paid based on assets managed to get interested in selling you their services. Imagine if everybody in this room were following the investment advice of somebody that said, you know, for 1% a year, I'll tell you how to invest your money. And in 1950, when we started in 1965, they would have they would have said, "Well, buy Berkshire Hathaway." And and if they were around now and they still had their one percent deal, they'd be collecting eight billion dollars a year from people who aren't getting any dividends from us. <laughs> so yeah, they they would have a different interest in in the kind of contract they worked out with you than you would have. And Best thing to do is just pay him a commission one time and own the stock. Uh, but you have to be alert to how 